Athletic is a sports league management system that modernizes the game of high school sports. The rating of officials improves the quality and experience surrounding high school competition. The innovative structure of the site will help to keep coaches, players, and fans informed on everyday information. The rating of officials improves the quality and overall experience of the competition. Athletic lets users streamline the bookkeeping and focus on winning competitions. What if an application could tell you the best times to invest in a sector of the U.S. stock market to maximize returns? The Beta Rotation Project will provide a web application and stock market monitoring service, which uses an algorithm to predict when a portfolio should be rotated between the broader U.S. market and the utilities sector. By monitoring real-time stock data and analyzing stock momentum, the project will be able to consistently outperform the traditional investment strategy of buy and hold, where shares are purchased and held in one sector for long-term gain. Our application will generate signals from this analysis that financial advisors will use to notify their investors when to rotate parts of their investment portfolio between the two sectors, helping them maximize the return on their investments. Hello and welcome to Constellation Brands Augmented Reality Experience. We are Team Interstellar. Think of Pokemon Go, but instead of Pokemon and gems, you might see beers and taps overlaid. This platform will encourage a social community through campaigns and promotions. Distributors craft unique AR experiences at retailer locations. Interactions with AR objects are rewarded. Presence on the leaderboards, badges, and in-game currency are incentives. All of these consumer impressions are tracked for visibility on a brand marketer dashboard. In summary, C Brands introduces a new layer of consumer engagement from which the data can be collected to inform marketing decisions. Oh hey, didn't see you there. We're Beer Vision, and we're here to tell you about why our project's important. Senior Project has taught us how to communicate with our sponsor, so we're able to figure out what they need and what they want in their product. Well, hey there. So our Senior Project gives us a lot of real-world experience with uh, requirement solicitation, as our app went through a large scope increase as we discovered that the initial requirements we had were not quite covering of everything that we needed to do, so we had to work with our customer to expand upon that. Our project helped us learn to manage and mitigate risks, especially with machine learning and Apple products. A D3 Riot Production VCR Has this ever happened to you? You have dozens of radar sensors with no way to visualize their data. Most people would just visualize them through their computer. But this doesn't work at a trade show where people want to see what's going on in real time. So now you can visualize on the fly with our mobile app called VCR. No, not that one. A mobile app that visualizes and controls radar sensors. Made with React Native and using the RAD methodology. Coming soon in 2020. Humans, although often unintentionally, have a harmful impact on the environment. There are, however, a multitude of ways in which we can help the environment as well. Depending on our lifestyle, our impact on the environment can be positive or negative. Our goal with this project is to educate and promote a more conscientious and eco-friendly lifestyle that is vital not only to our own healthy living, but to the survival of all things. Using gamification techniques, we are developing a video game to foster an enjoyable experience where the player can understand their ecological impact, where they can learn the meaning of green and the world of
Climate change is a critical issue that humans have become increasingly aware about in recent years. ISO standards have played an instrumental role in helping organizations worldwide take steps towards addressing this issue. However, these standards can often be wordy and tedious, and it can be difficult for the reader to gain a high level of understanding of their concepts. Center Dependency is a game that makes learning about ISO 14001 fun and engaging. It promotes environmentally friendly behavior to make up for some of the damage people have done and ensure the sustainability of the world we all know and love. Hackers exploited a security weakness on Facebook, compromising 50 million accounts. And this was the biggest hack of one company users ever. A massive data breach has affected almost half of the United States, and it comes at the hands of a company that should be protecting your information. Veteran suicide occurs 1.5 times more frequently than non-veteran suicide. This is in no small part due to the isolation of veterans after the completion of military service. The mission of Op 6 is to bring the veteran community together under the common goal of fighting isolationism. Op 6 wants to see to it that every veteran feels mentally healthy, physically healthy, and fulfilled. The Op 6 application strives to be a one-stop shop for those who have completed their military service. Phoenix Bioinformatics is a nonprofit research organization that creates a curated reference genome database for Arabidopsis thaliana. The process of curation involves identifying areas of the genome that aren't yet curated and finding what, if any, scientific research exists in that area of the literature. That information is recorded in the database so that other researchers can more easily find the science they need. While all of this curated data is available through various interfaces, Phoenix didn't yet have a dashboard to show progress and present simple querying of the curated data. That's where we came in. We built the interactive functional annotation dashboard to present dataset information at a glance and allow for first-line queries of the dataset. Queries can be made for information about genes or annotations in the selected subsets, and the results can be downloaded in a standard format.
greatest barrier to a college education is cost. RIT's tuition is over $22,000 a semester. College of Art and Design offers up to $30,000 to their students annually, but building a portfolio to apply for scholarships is both time-consuming and expensive, and many students simply don't have the cash to print their artwork. Gallery Gateway is an existing system used to submit photos for art showcases. This year, we're expanding it to be your one-stop shop for photography scholarship applications. It's an online central location to upload your full-quality photos and build a portfolio without the cost and time required for printing. It's fast, it's easy, and best of all, it's free. The average smartphone has about 75 apps installed, but how many people wish they could make their own app? Introducing the MIT App Inventor. It allows over 10 million people around the world to easily build applications for their Android phones. It's powerful, but it's not complete. Introducing App Inventor extensions. We are excited to announce that our team is adding new features to the App Inventor in the form of free and open source extensions that will allow thousands of young students to measure air and sound pressure levels, as well as interface their apps with a robot operating system, all with just a few clicks. These extensions will allow users from all backgrounds to learn and access technologies that would otherwise be inaccessible. And that is what the App Inventor community is all about. Hey, I know you're new here, but we got a very important customer coming in tonight, okay? I need you to greet and see All them, right, okay? Really so they're very particular about where they like to sit, what they like to eat. So as long as you don't mess it up, we just can't afford to lose their business. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I understand okay. you, but what do they look like? Uh, good evening, Miss McMoneybag. Hello, John. Uh, right this way, please. Please enjoy this mint julep as you go through our menu. We've also already ordered your charcuterie board. Thank you, darling. Those are my favorite. Enjoy your meal. How was your evening, Miss Moneybag? It was fabulous, darling. I'll be back. Good job. Thank you, sir. We are Team Monumental for the Monuments and Memorials Project. There are over 39,000 monument and memorials across the U.S. However, they are largely uncategorized and unavailable for researchers or the public to access. Another problem is the Take It Down movement, which is a group that seeks to remove historical monuments. Thus, they are at a risk of being lost to history. The current solution for organizing all these monuments and memorials have been an extremely outdated website or are only focused on specific states that are hidden behind a paywall. The solution is a website to combine all the data into one place with modern searching as well as a modern user interface for the public and researchers to gain more knowledge of our history. Historically, new drugs were discovered by chance interactions with plants or fungi, and their effects were studied by simple trial and error. Today, researchers are able to simulate the interactions between molecules allowing us to predict how potential new drugs can be used in treatment. One such interaction is the docking between enzymes and their ligands. Enzymes are proteins that help facilitate chemical reactions, and docking is the process where atoms in an enzyme's active site, the chemically active part of the protein, bond with a smaller molecule, the ligand. Many tools exist to analyze the interaction of proteins and ligands, but these are often costly or difficult to use. Our project, the Multimate Docking Expansion, seeks to simplify this process, providing an easy-to-use web interface for researchers, instructors, and students. Why is our project important? The goal of this project is to implement a system that helps NTID students improve their writing style. Deaf and hard of hearing writers face many unique issues, most of which aren't addressed by writing aid programs like Grammarly. This demographic also maintains a large range of writing proficiencies. This means that providing a solution that benefits every one of our users is one of our highest priorities. 
To achieve this, we investigated how similar products speak to and educate their users. We also investigated how state-of-the-art learning tools present information specifically to our demographic. We hope to complete the implementation of many of these ideas by next semester, and that our first run of classroom tests in March will help improve the product further. While prospective software engineers and other computing students often get flown out to interviews on the West Coast free of charge, those in art fields are generally not so lucky. Along with this, art students often need to produce a physical portfolio to bring with them, adding to the interview cost. There are a handful of VOIP solutions available that attempt to solve this problem by allowing interviews to be conducted remotely. However, these solutions lack the presence that an in-person interview provides. It feels unnatural when you're just talking at a chat room screen. Enter Presence VR. The goal of this project is to create an enriching, immersive interviewing experience that allows artists to upload their assets directly into a virtual space and then interact with interviewers within that space in VR. Now in its third iteration, this project is web-based, works with a multitude of VR devices, and can even be used without VR entirely. Currently in an MVP stage, we are working to bring this product to a fully-fledged, production-ready state. Our application helps to expedite job application and company response time. We match students with recruiters using Google Cloud Talent API, an AI solution powered by Google. So why is this needed? As students, we're busy and juggling a lot of tasks. By the time we graduate, we need to make sure we're passing all of our classes and have a job lined up. The last thing we need is for a company to finally get back to us months after we graduate. Our app holds employers accountable while simultaneously generating the best possible matches between students and job openings. Using the Google Talent API, the application anonymously generates matches based on your input preferences to eliminate any biases. Once matched, students have the option to proceed with the interview process. Unlike Tinder, we are striving for long-lasting, mutually beneficial relationships. With the rapid advancement of climate change, strong commitments to environmental initiatives are more important than ever. As a leading university in sustainability, RIT has set the ambitious goal of becoming a carbon neutral campus by 2030. To inspire data-driven policies and hit the mark of carbon neutrality, the Office of the President and Senior Advisor Enid Cardinal have requested a sustainability dashboard that will provide actionable insights into energy use on campus. The dashboard will provide dynamic energy consumption data for meters across campus, informative visuals and filtering options, and data download access to RIT members for more effective research and development. RIT Sustainability Dashboard, a leap to a greener future. On behalf of the Seneca Park Zoo Society, the Seneca Park Zoo Tigers proudly present the Conservation Impact Tool. Our story begins here at the Seneca Park Zoo, a short drive from RIT. Patrons give the zoo donations, which are used to fund the zoo's conservation projects. All life begins with a seed, in this case, an acorn. That acorn is nurtured by the zoo society into a sapling, and when it is mature enough, it is transplanted to a permanent location as a part of a designated ecological impact effort, currently in Madagascar. We have been tasked with creating a system for tracking the progress of that sapling, specifically its growth, temporal information, and geospatial data. This information is stored in a Heroku database, attached to a Salesforce cloud instance. Salesforce allows users, such as donors and scientists, to access the conservation data and see the impact their donation or work has made on the ecosystem. Thank you for watching. So first one again, right foot steps 45, and then punches 45 the other way. So we just step and then punch. This is one. I just uh, read off to you and you just do it? Yeah, you just read off the instructions. Uh, so step 45 degrees to your right into horse stance and execute right middle punch to the middle section. Uh, do you remember what you did in class? I, I think from class is something like this. That kind of makes sense. I wish there was like a better way to do this. I actually like that, that one. That was really good. is in need of a way to ensure that the source code they work on for their clients is not copied to other repositories on accident or maliciously. To ensure that they are respecting the confidentiality of client code, they have asked us to build a system that will detect when their code is copied to other repositories. 
This system would scan public GitHub repositories to confirm that sensitive or confidential information is not exposed from any of Willow Tree's private repositories. The end product will be an automated solution that pulls down the client code, scans it, and confirms that Willow Tree's employees haven't made it public. If anything has been made public or copied without authorization, it will trigger an alert. While this problem is complex to start, it is further complicated by Willow Tree client agreements. For some clients, they can open source some non-client specific code, and for other clients, they cannot. The final system will be able to provide the ability to ignore and report on certain duplications.